Moving on to the fourth question. Given that 15 cot A is equal to 8, find sin A and secant A. Now moving on to the solution. Let us note on the given information that 15 cot A is equal to 8. That implies cot A is equal to 8 by 15. Let us assume a right angle triangle with A as base angle and B B 90 degrees and C be the other vertex of the triangle A B C. In this, he has given that cot A is equal to 8 by 15. We know that cot of an angle is nothing but the ratio of its adjacent side by opposite side. We can write cot A as the adjacent side of A angle A is AB here by the opposite side of angle A here is BC which is equal to 8 by 15. So here we can write AB as 8 and BC as 15. Now in order to get sin A and secant A we need to find the value of AC, the hypotenuse. Now, by applying the Pythagoras theorem to triangle ABC, we know that the hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. Here we can write AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That implies AC square is equal to AB square that is 8 square plus bc square that is 15 square which is equal to 8 square is 64 plus 15 square is 225 that is equal to 289 so here we get the value of ac as square root of 289 which is equal to 17 so ac can be written as 17 here firstly he asked us to find the value of sin a we know that sine of an angle is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse here the opposite side of angle A is BC and hypotenuse here is AC which is equal to BC is 15 and AC is 17 and in the second part he asked us to find secant A we know that secant of an angle is equal to its hypotenuse by the adjacent side. So here the hypotenuse is AC by and adjacent side here is AB for angle A which is equal to AC is 17 and AB we got it as 8 therefore C and A is equal to 17 by 8 